in University of Bridgeport School of Engineering, Department of Computer Science and Engineering. Here we design a complete face recognition system, especially for 3D data, because we find that the 2D world is not enough. We need to add more data to the world. That's why here we designed our new 3D face recognition system based on the 3D camera that can capture 2D image and the 3D data plus some infrared info if we need it. In the School of Engineering, we designed a software built on an ARM processor exactly to the one sem uh, included in the cell phone with uh, an ARM kit like the Raspberry Pi uh, board, which can uh, get the information from the 3D camera and process it to can capture the face area in the 2D and in 3D. And we are here focusing on the 3D image and send it over the internet to our own servers so we can process the 3D image, make a modeling using the neural network similar to the one happening exactly in our brain so we can attach the, uh, the recognition algorithm to can recognize whose person captured by the 3D camera. Now, let's see how this software will work. First, we should launch the software on the ARM module and retrieve the data from the 3D camera. If I face the camera, now as you can see, the 3D camera shooting my image and structure the area of my face and capture it to send it to the server. The camera captured my image as circled and send the uh, captured data to the server and the, the data will be processed on the 3D server using the GPU computing power to can model it using the neural system exactly like our brain work. Then it generates a model and recognize this model. After the data has been sent to the server, it, has, it, it, it will be processed using the GPU power of the server and the results can be seen. As we can see, the result of the recognition system is welcome Ahmed because my image and my 3D, 3D data has been captured by the camera and sent to the server. That's why it captured my identity from the stored database system and uh, view the 3D mesh for my face. We have to add the, this person into the stored database first, then the system can work on that person again. This 3D facial, facial recognition system is a unique for the School of Engineering in the University of Bridgeport. And with this kind of technique and the computation power that we are using, we are trying to compete the techniques used in the other School of Engineering, like Stanford or MIT or University of California, Berkeley. This thing can be applied to the police department and FBI and CIA stored data. So any person can be, can have an image which is 2D and 3D and stored on the system and then apply our smart system with a smart modeling technique so it can recognize this person at any place on the world.